Okay, so I've got to sell my Birkin. I've got to sell my Kelly. Chanel, Chanel. Oh my gosh, is that even enough? Hi, my loves. So today I'm coming at you with a super fun video. It is a tag video. It is about five bags that I would keep forever in my collection and five bags that I would sacrifice for the greater good. You might have seen this tag going around. It was created by my amazing friend, Amy from Fashionably Amy. She's the creator of this tag and she tagged me personally. So thank you, Amy, for this fun tag. Also, thank you to Kat from Kat L and also Melinda from Lux Purse Love for tagging me as well. So so this is an interesting one because look, it's all hypothetical, okay? But Amy wanted to know which were our favorite bags, but which were some bags that we would sell or we would sacrifice for the greater good. And she sort of defined it as whether that be to purchase your unicorn bag or it might be a business venture. Even though this is a tag, I think you will find it interesting because I do go through my reasoning for each one and why, there are going to be some shockers. Just warning. And I'm gonna up the ante and I'm gonna do 10 bags that I would sacrifice because I'll do 10 that I'm gonna keep as well. I think because you guys know I'm a little bit of a handbag collector, I love so many bags. I appreciate you know the craftsmanship and the history behind them. So I'm like, that's not fair. If I'm gonna keep 10, I gotta sacrifice 10. This is hypothetical. I don't want to sacrifice, you know, these bags I'm about to say. You're going to be shocked at some of my choices, but hear me out. So I thought it would be really fun to take you upstairs into my closet. I've actually got it laid out because there's like 20 bags quickly to go through. It's a bit of eye candy for you. And let's go. Okay, so I'm in my cupboard now. And before I get started, this is how I'm going to do this tag. Well, this is my little twist on this tag. So for me, the 10 bags that I have chosen to sacrifice is if my dream Hermes Birkin or Kelly in Lizard or Croc comes up. So as you know, with those bags, they cost a lot. So I've been very strategic with the bags I'm going to sell because either I know they're really rare, they're hard to get, um, a couple of them I may even consider selling purely because I don't use them enough. But yeah, those are the ones you are going to be really shocked at for some of my choices. It's if someone said to me, okay, Mel, you can, here we go, pretend this is like a Lizard Kelly. It's like, okay, I'm going to give you this, but you got to give me 10 of your bags that are approximately the same value. So you've got to do it now. So that's how I've kind of done this tag. And I thought it was kind of a bit fun to challenge myself. Hence why I'm doing 10 keep and 10 to sacrifice. So let's start off with the ones that I would keep. So first up is this pink beauty. It is my Hermes Kelly 25 in Retourne with palladium hardware in swift leather in the very much sought after color Rose Sakura. I was very, very, very lucky to be able to score this directly from Paris, the mothership store. I got this in, when did I get it? I think 2019. And yeah, I love this. It's like my favorite pink. And the second bag that I would never sell, and this one is a really, really sentimental one, is my pochette accessoire. This was my very first bag, which I bought. You can see the patina is just, actually the strap is broken. I need to get that fixed. But this uh, I purchased in 1999. I saved up so much for this. It is purely kept in my collection for sentimental reasons. And yeah, just how hard I worked for this baby. So for that reason, definitely a forever bag. The next bag I will keep is a Chanel. And for all those of you that know me, you know that I love pearls, love, love, love pearls. So when this bag came out, I knew I wanted it. I still get emails regarding this bag 
so often saying, will you sell it? And this on the resale market is going crazy, actually. So I love this bag. It's so Chanel-esque. It's quintessential Chanel with the pearls. And yeah, I just love it. Plus, you know, it, it makes a great evening bag too, though I wear it, you know, daytime as well. Next one is going to come at absolutely no surprise. It is Miss Mally. So this is my very first Birkin. Uh, it's a Birkin 30 with palladium hardware. I got this back in 2016. This is before they changed the system and you had to wait in line. I tried like six times. If you want to see that story, I went through the whole story. It was an ordeal not going to lie. So this was my very first baby. Look at her. She's just in beautiful condition. I have actually taken the stickers off. So it really gleams now because just be careful because it can cause, you know, uh, discoloration sometimes. So I've still got the stickers on some of my Birkins and Kellys, but this one I have taken off. So yeah, I always have my, you know, 7RP inserts in there. This one's in the forest green. I love this bag. Would never part with it. And coming in at number five, just excuse this guys because I'm doing this all, you know, one-handed, is another very, very sentimental bag to me. This bag my hubby surprised me with. It is the Chanel small classic flap in black caviar leather with uh, gold hardware. And this is when they used to make the gold, as you can see, that little stamp here, the 24 karat gold hardware, which they still did that. And you can just see the caviar after a while. See how it's shiny? This bag is pretty old. My husband did buy it pre-loved for me. Got an amazing deal. And I remember when he gave it to me, I like, I literally cried because I love this bag. And I remember when I got it, the small wasn't so popular like it is nowadays. But I love this. Such a classic, what can I say? Yep, definitely a keeper. Next up might come as a surprise for you guys, but let me explain. So this bag here is from Mona and I just love Mona's craftsmanship. This bag here is actually called the Mini Vanity and my version actually is all perforated. It's all perforated. It kind of looks like lace. It is just honestly a piece of art. If you guys have seen my video where my uh, son and daughter rank my best and worst bags, my daughter actually doesn't like this bag because she says, Mommy, you never use it. And she is right. I don't really use this bag. It's one of my only bags where you can't actually fit a phone inside, you know, because it, it's square. But it is just exquisite. It takes so long for them to make this. I've toured the Mona Atelier and seen firsthand just how painstakingly difficult it is to make their bags. It is just, it's honestly just beautiful. And this I would keep too because Mona's actually discontinued this bag since, you know, their creative director has left last year. So you can't get these anymore. And I really cherish this. Plus, it's a real talking point, And I love the pop of color. So this for its workmanship and that reminds me that I've been to the atelier myself. This bag I have to keep. And then let's move on to this bag here. Of course, if in my 10 bags I'm going to keep, I need a neutral. This is my favorite Hermes Grey. Well, it's in the Grey family. And this is my Birkin 25 in Gris Tortorelle, Togo leather with palladium hardware. So this bag here is so cute. I love Gris Tortorelle. I always wanted it. I actually got this from my Melbourne boutique, I think in 2017. So one of my, I think this was my second Birkin actually, and I love it. I love the size 25. This color goes with everything. So this bag is definitely a forever bag because it's, yeah, it's a neutral. You can never go wrong with neutrals. Talking about Hermes, a lot of my keep bags are Hermes. This is a classic. This is also for sentimental reasons. I would always never, ever sell 
my Miss Annie. And this Kelly is a Kelly size 28 in Epsom leather. It is the Cellier construction. If you're wondering, you know, what's the difference between Retin-A and Cellier, I have done an in-depth comparison with my Kelly's 25 versus 28, Cellier versus Retin-A. I'll link it above. But this Hubby actually scored from Paris for our 18-year wedding anniversary. I wasn't successful, but Hubby was successful. And can you get more classic than a beautiful black Kelly? I mean, this will just never go out of style. Plus, I think the size 28 is the most perfect size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just the perfect medium size bag and I highly recommend this size to any of you that are looking you know to perhaps add a Kelly to your collection okay just two more bags left out of the ones that I would keep let's move on to this bag this bag here is my Chanel reissue in this beautiful beige color with the antique gold hardware this I purchased in London and this is the medium size or it's also referred to as the 225 which is my favorite size I get so many emails on this too wanting to buy this of me because they just haven't made a reissue in this beautiful neutral beigey shade and yeah I just love it it's classic it's always going to stay in my collection and the final bag is my very first exotic bag and this is in lizard this is again another uh, surprise from my husband and it's my first exotic bag I love it this is this is like the lizard ombre he sourced it you know the twist is it's just it's a very cool bag it's quite a classic bag for LV2 but it's my first exotic hopefully I would love to add you know, my dream bag, as I said, is a Birkin or Kelly. So if I was given the choice now and there's like, OK, you can get that mag bag, Mel. What is what are the bags that you would sacrifice? So this one is a keeper. That's number 10. These keep pile is in no particular order, by the way, guys. Those are the ones that I would keep. OK, so let's move on to the 10 bags I would sacrifice this is hypothetical. I don't really want to sell these bags. But if you give me my dream Kelly or Birkin and give it to me now and I need to come up with the funds to swap or to sacrifice them for that, these are the bags. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Let's start off with this one. And it is this beauty. This is a Constance size 18 in palladium hardware all the stickers are still on there yes this is in rose sakura too and this bag is so sought after the only reason i would sacrifice this bag is because i do have rose sakura in this you know will i sell this bag i've been thinking about it but it, it is my only constant size 18 this sells for so much on the you know secondary market I don't know, but I know that this will fetch a lot of money. And because I have Rose Sakura ready, for that reason, this is the first bag I would sacrifice. Secondly is a classic. This is my Speedy 25. Now this bag here, it is a classic bag. People still love it. Monogram is getting harder and harder to get. Mine is in immaculate condition. And I would sacrifice this because I just don't use this bag very much at all. It is in, look, it's got a beautiful honey patina. I know that I could recoup all my money back, if not more, because, you know, I bought it quite a number of years ago and it just keeps going up. This bag is very easy to sell because it's just a classic Next up, I I need some more funds, so I have to sacrifice a Chanel. And this one here would I would sacrifice. I still love the Coco handle as a shape. I bought this in Paris and this just keeps going up. Since I've bought this bag, I think there's been like three priced increases. And I know this is a very sought after bag. And it is in a beautiful sort of dark grey colour with ruthenium hardware and cocoa handles. I know that I could 
you know, sell this for more than retail because it is a sought after bag. And I think this beautiful dark gray color, you don't see it as often. You see black a lot or pinks and stuff, but this beautiful gray is just, yeah, stunning. And I don't even use this that much. This one is a one I've considered selling maybe, but I'm in no rush to sell. I, I don't know. I still really like it and I feel like I would miss it if I did sell it. Okay, well, I got to bring up some big guns now because I need the cash for my exotic, my hypothetical exotic Birkin or Kelly, my dream unicorn bag. So I do need to give up a Kelly. And out of all the Kellys, the one I use the least, though I still love and do not plan to sell, is this beautiful one. Now, this one is one that my husband scored and as a walk-in in Prague. And this is the Kelly 35 in Vert Supri. So this beautiful dark green with gold hardware. I still really love this bag. This bag is probably the one I've used least because as you know, COVID and everything, I haven't really had to go into work in the office or anything, just working from home. So this bag, you know, out of all my Kellys, I could sacrifice for the greater cause. And next up is this bag here. This is my Jadio bag. And this, I remember this campaign with Maria. It was the all blue campaign. And oh, this navy blue was that the color of the season. The windows, all the bags were in this color. She derived inspiration from Monsieur Dior himself because I think he had a quote saying like, navy blue is the only color that can kind of compete with black or something like that. And this was just so cool because you can wear it this way. I still really like this bag. I just haven't used it that much. So this one was more like um, I still think I can recoup quite a lot uh, of my money if I do sell it because it is in immaculate condition. And it was one of those collections that just did phenomenally well. And I think it was back in 2017. And I think this bag being the navy blue, it's it's just a little bit more special. It is It is just in perfect condition. So that is one that I would sacrifice. Another baby that... I also picked very strategically is my Jiggy or Jigge clutch. This is in a very rare color. This is in actually an Argyle in Swift leather. The only reason why I put this up is because I do have another one. And I think that this one would probably be able to fetch more for my hypothetical dream bag. You don't see Argyle. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that uh, incorrectly uh, much as well and this is a very popular clutch so I know that I would be able to again get my money back and I do have another one of these in my collection. Next up I love this bag I remember buying it uh, in Paris I think 2006 maybe five years ago four years ago and it is a classic it is the LV Capucines BB with the Python handle. Now, I love this bag. No intention of selling it. The only reason I can justify for selling this is, one, I would recoup a lot of money because these bags are not cheap by any means. But because it is so similar to my Gris Tortorelle, it's a very similar shape, as you can see, and similar color. So I do have something else that's very similar to it. Plus, if I ever miss it, I know I could repurchase uh, this couple of scenes again. But yeah, that is one that I would be willing to sacrifice, though I love the couple of scenes. Love it. And next up is my beautiful classic Chevron old medium boy bag in calf leather ruthenium hardware. This is such a sought after you know, combination because it's edgy, it's classic. I think it actually looks, I prefer it into the chevron. This one here, I don't know, it was just extra puffy and the structure is just in perfect condition. There's not one mark on this bag. Out of my two boy bags, I have another boy bag. Uh, I like the other one better. So for that reason, and because I know it's a sought after combo, I would have to sacrifice this for the greater cause. And cupping in at number nine, guys, is this bag here. This is a very trendy bag. People still love it. I still get emails. 
I have a confession. I have still not worn this multi pochette. I don't even know why. I know a lot of people love it, everything like that. It's not that I don't love it. I just, I'm not sure. But I haven't been ready or willing to part with it. You guys know I'm a, oh, you know, I like to keep my bags and it takes me a long time before I sell anything. So this one here, because purely because of the fact that I don't, I haven't even worn it and I know it's still super hot and super trendy, I would sacrifice this. And dun, 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 my final one. Okay, you know, exotic Birkin or Kelly, my dream bag, it ain't cheap. It probably, it's in excess of $50,000. So I need to come up with something that's going to make up a chunk of that. And I picked a Birkin. I love this Birkin. I'm not selling this Birkin, guys. But out of all my Birkins, you know, I know that this color, for the right price, I've seen it go for, you know, a lot. And it is my gorgeous Anemone Birkin. I know. It is. Look at this color. Like, this beautiful royal purple. It's actually called Miss Royal. It's in Epsom leather with gold hardware. I think, you know, Anemone with gold is such a beautiful bag. This is a Birkin 30. The only reason I would sacrifice this is is because I was going to get my exotic. This is definitely was the hardest, hardest, but, you know, I could definitely make up you know, and sell this for a lot to have the funds for my dream bag. So that is number 10. So guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to do it kind of vlog style and show you all the bags, the 10 bags that I would keep and also the 10 I would sacrifice for the greater good. Thanks again so much to Amy for tagging me. I will leave Amy's video down below as well as Kat's and also Melinda's. Now, guys, I have one question to ask you. I keep getting emails about people still wanting me to do a vlog sale. Do you still want me to do it? It's been two years since my last one. I didn't think it was appropriate to do it last year you know, just as the pandemic was starting, but I'm not sure if I should this year. Um, but I, I've got so many emails recently. So can you please comment below? I take a long time to sell my things, as you know, but I know so many of you have requested. I think I've got weekly emails for the past couple of months asking me if I'm going to sell my bags or shoes or whatever. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to tag some girls down below. Go ahead and do this tag if you want to. It's a lot of fun. It's just for fun. It's just for hypothetical reasons. But I hope you enjoyed the vid and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.